Hey, Stephen Dorf. Backpedals on Black Widow comments. Remember when he went all, you know, he kind of went all, well, he got mean when it came to uh, Black Widow. And, you know, I think we briefly talked about it when that happened, but uh, there wasn't much, you know. It was just him kind of lashing out, saying that he would never want to be in any one of these movies. And then uh, he said Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Widow looks like garbage. And, uh, and and he felt sorry for Scarlett Johansson and everything like that. And it's just like, wow, dude. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I mean, I wasn't a fan of the movie. And I could totally see why somebody could say it looks like garbage. But at the same time, it's like, he, he you know, I, th- I even made the joke. I'm like, if Steven Dorff was asked to be in a Marvel Studios movie, he would be in a Marvel Studios movie. Come on. Let's face it. Okay. I like Steven Dorff. I've always liked him. But let's face it. I mean, he's not exactly mainstream right now, is he? You know? So I think he would gladly do that. I think he would gladly do that. But this is, uh, I mean, this is actually a video. Um, the video from TMZ. Yes, I know. I know uh, sometimes you guys bust my balls with, like, sourcing TMZ. But, you know, this is where this is where he uh, he talked about it right here. Steven, oh, well, like you, feel, you feel vindicated about your Black Widow comments? It, oh, I love Scarlett. I think that was taken a little bit out of context. Take it out of context. Out of context. I just, I just, it's just about the movie, right? Because yeah, it drops I'm not, I'm 67%. Not a fan. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love Scarlett. I heard she's going to be a mom, so I wish her the best. And, and she's an old friend of mine. So have you seen the movie? Yet? I felt bad about that comment. Have you seen the movie? <laughs> I haven't. No. I don't really you know those movies. I like Iron Man. I like the kind of when they go a little darker. I love the Joker. I love, I'm love. i looking forward to the new Batman. Batman Watch the Snyder so, Cut. But, uh, you know, I think that guy in England got me at a moment where I was just shit talking a little bit, and I felt a little bad. Do you by think it. that there's it Marvel, there's Marvel fatigue? Like too many of them. I don't know. I wish Mahershal had the best with the Blade uh, remake, you know, because they're redoing Blade and Mahershal Ali. We did yeah. shoot a detective together. He's an amazing actor. And I, so I wish him the best with that. Are you going to be? Moment. You going to be making any appearances in that? Oh, I don't think so. But, no, you know, that was a long time ago. <laughs> what, Frost's yeah. not going to show up. Look? Come on, that was. And then I'm kind of going like, oh wait, I'm like Scarlett Johansson was an old friend. Oh, old friend. <laughs> Uh, with benefits? Yes, probably. Ah, well, there you go. 2003. So, man, they almost had a similar haircut. Anyways, um, so that's why. Ooh, yeah. Old friend right there. Yeah, we know. We know what kind of friend that probably was. Steven, you rascal. You (laughs) rascal, you. Um, yeah. Um, so, I mean, at least he gave his praises for the new Blade movie because, I mean, but it's just kind of, I love it when the, you think you're going to be in it? You're going to return it? It's like, come on, guys. I'm not going to return in it, but cuddle buddies, cuddle buddies. But, you know, there you go. So we back, I mean, that's that's what happens, though. You, you, you shoot your mouth off in an interview, and then now you got to be like, oh, yeah, I didn't really mean that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, you did. You were upset. I don't know. I don't know why he was so upset about it, but at the same time, it's like he's. But what I like, what I appreciated of the fact of that response was the fact that he kind he didn't pull back. He didn't pull back on the fact that he's like not a really a big fan of like the movies, those movies now, and he likes it when they go darker. That's why I'm like, it would have been awesome if like yeah, you know, Joker or uh, you know that Zack Snyder stuff. Could you imagine if he said that? I was like, damn it! I'm like, come on, somebody tell Stephen. Somebody, somebody tell Stephen that. Uh, that, you know, there are darker stuff out there that, uh, you know, that that, it, that has a certain director that he might like the style of it. Throw a knife at Steven. Yeah. Missed opportunity right there. Sadly, but it's okay. But, uh, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it would have been fun. I mean, who knows? Who knows why, what what had to change tone. But, uh, hey, he apologized and whatnot. So, hey, good on you, Steven. Good on you. All right, guys, that's the topics I wanted to talk about today. Oh, yeah. Remember the Blue e-cigarette commercials? Yeah. I know. He's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that, like, he puts a cigarette in his mouth, and you're like, man, fucking cigarettes are kind of, you know, they're gross. I mean, they're gross, but you make it look so cool. Why is that? Why is there certain people that put that put a cigarette in their mouth, and they can really pull that off? But, yeah, I remember he did those e-cigs. 
I know. Yeah, that's very true, Jose. Even Zack Snyder's Justice League is not not as dark as the Joker. That's for damn sure.